Powder Coat 1104 is a new product that we have. It's a low pressure chemical vapor deposition reactor. And it's unique in that it has multiple processing chambers that can be run in sequence or in parallel. And we've designed it to be a turnkey system. That means that we have every sub component of the system which is integrated to form a total solution. We have the gas delivery, the reaction, and the exhaust treatment system. What we've done is we've packaged all of those technologies into a system that not only can achieve high quality material deposition, but can also do that at a high volume manufacturing capability. We're gonna start with the gas delivery systems. On the right, we have the SDC Cyphercon 1500. It's designed to be operated outdoors and it has an auto switchover capability. So under normal operation, you'll have bulk delivery of your hazardous gases. In this case, it's silane, which is a pyrophoric gas. So as the gases come from our gas delivery system, they're fed into the main system cabinet. This cabinet is designed to be exhaust extracted. That means we have an extraction capability where there's negative pressure and the facility exhaust will provide that negative pressure and it pulls room air through a filter to keep dust and particles out of the main cabinet. So this is our gas management system and we have very fine control of the gas flows to every single reactor of the four reactor system. Each one is completely individual and independent. So this one delivers gases only to the reactor on the other side of this cabinet. Now this reactor is about 120 inches long and it has an inner diameter of about 13.5 inches. It's a very large reactor and inside this reactor is where we're going to be processing that powder that we talked about before. So our precursor gases are going to come into the reactor, they're injected through the ends. This reactor is heated up by a furnace up to about 700 degrees Celsius in this case. One of the features is that we have something called our fast cool clamshell furnace. You'll notice these chains on the side and those chains drive the furnace open and closed. So at the start of the process run, the furnace is closed and it will heat up that powder. At the end of the process run, the chains drive that clamshell furnace open and that allows much more of the heat to escape and allows the whole furnace, the whole reactor to cool down much faster. Firstly, the reactor here, the size is such that you can process up to 50 kilograms of powder per run. This is the exhaust end of the chamber. You can see these are where the exhaust gases come out. So now those gases are basically spent. Now those gases will be carrying quite a lot of heat with them. The reactor is at 700 degrees Celsius and those gases need to be cooled before they get to our pumping system. The way we do that is we have a water cooled elbow at the end of each reactor and the gases will come out of the reactor. They'll see that water cooled elbow and they'll let some of the heat go out into that cooling water. The gases will then come through into the pumping system. Now we come to the actual pumping system. And here we have high flows of gases and we need to be able to pump all of those gases away and maintain that reactor pressure. Now I'm going to show you inside our exhaust gas conditioning system exhausted enclosure. And each exhaust gas conditioning system has its own enclosure, very similar to what I described previously. We draw in room air through filters and then we detect that room air in case there's any leaks inside the enclosure. In this side we have a water spray pack tower so our hot gases will exhaust out of the pack tower and as they're exhausting out we spray water and we cool the gases by spraying that water. That also will remove any particulate that happens to be in the gas stream before the gases exit. But this is the main control station. We have a large 4K monitor. We need all that resolution because we want to be able to see the status of all four reactors. We want to be able to plot lots of different graphs, tables and from here you can also edit and compose your recipes, the recipes you're gonna be using on those process systems. But this system has a lot of sophisticated designs, technology, in order to deposit that material from that gas that's difficult to handle and render it safe to exhaust. And so we're really providing a platform that can be very versatile and very useful for powder processing.